1998. Our embassies in Nairobi and Dar es Salaam were bombed. The Bin Laden terrorist network was responsible. Suicide bombers blew a hole in the My ship. My prayers are with the families of those killed at the explosion involving the U.S. naval vessel. Hidden in the mountains of Afghanistan, Bin Laden planned these attacks. September 9th, 2001. Ahmad Massoud, the leader of the Northern Alliance, was assassinated by two members of Al-Qaeda. Massoud's death destabilized the Northern Alliance, removing the only threat to the Taliban's power in Afghanistan. I said to the American colleague, you know, it's very disturbing. There's a feeling that something has to happen. They're clearly ready for something. Sitting on the sidelines with this shit happening, Dill? Huh? You talked to Bowers? 
I did. I told him I walked back in. He said, You won't say no to me. Tell me you didn't submit that paperwork. Well, it's on my desk. If anybody in the Middle East did this, if it goes up, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, what about if we had a fucking captain? We'll be in this fight, boys. You mark my words. Is it a meeting, sir? It's a private meeting.
as long as you come back. You understand? Yeah, I do. And say so you're coming home. You can't pay me, it's bad luck. Where do we bunk? Uh, let me see those Kwanzaa huts. Those are for the teams. The numbers are on the door, sir. Don't salute in country. Are you trying to get a cap and kill, bro? These are all friendlies. Oh, yeah? Who, well, that guy? That's not my friend. That guy's definitely not my friend. Fucking dealer, bro. That could be a bit friendly. He looks nice. That guy? Yeah. Oh, hey, man. The tons are in the salad. Hey, what's up, guys? Like Christmas came early, huh? Oh yeah, ho ho ho! Where have you guys been? Oh, we went to a fucking Nickelback concert. Oh, was it? Throw your panties on. Nah, 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 nah. We got stuck in old position until the weather broke. Hi, yo, the weather here doesn't change until June. Snowed last night. Get used to it. What? Really? Yeah. What's all this? So we get the quartermaster a gold card. Now the only unit with any cold weather tack here is the 10th Mountain. Hey, Sharon. Make sure everyone carries a GPS and can find one top of that. Hey, look what 515 left outside the Oh, oh hey. Hey. It's oh, 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 Ricky Spear! Hey. Five months in country. Oh, this here's the man. Hey, man, is that, is that a wig? Can I, can I cut you? Uh, uh, ask uh, Ask Crawford's uh, wife. She loves it. Oh! oh. Yeah, just throw it out, guys. What happened? What happened? Oh, hey, be careful. I've heard those crap for God. Don't even think. Oh. Is down. The other five teams have been interviewed. And, uh, Cap, we're all counting on you, so, you know, no pressure. Thanks, buddy. See you soon, boys. Yep. Give them hell, Cap. Bin Laden has been financing the Taliban and Al-Qaeda setting up terrorist training camps all over Afghanistan. He's had one big win on U.S. soil. He wants another. And if we don't stop him, there will be more. Bin Laden might be the brains, but make no mistake about it, in Afghanistan, the Taliban is the muscle. If we remove them from power, he can't use them to make his attacks. Mazari Sharif. Whoever controls that city controls Afghanistan. If we take Mazar from the Taliban, then we cripple Bin Laden. Well, that's half right. If you're going to interrupt me, you should probably be entirely right. No, we aren't taking anything. The man who's going to take Mazar is named General Dostum. He's an Afghan warlord with the Northern Alliance. He has the troops, he has the intel, he knows the cliffs, he knows every cave, and most importantly, he does not care for the Taliban. So this is about airstrikes. Sorry, sir. No, you nailed that one. Dostum cannot take out the Taliban by him. It's a CIA operative who will take you to Dostum. Your mission, earn Dostum's trust. In bed with his militia, you fight alongside him while he makes his way to Taliban strongholds. When you get there, you call in for close air support strikes. Dostum will do the rest, one by one, stronghold by stronghold, until he takes Mazar and the Taliban falls. You got six weeks? Well, I'd say three weeks, sir. All right, I'll bite. Why three? The Russians have been here before, right? They've done this, and they wrote about it. They said the snow was shutting down all the mountain passes by mid-November. Every year without fail. Now, if the Russians are talking about a bad winter, it's usually worth paying attention to, isn't it? After three weeks, we will not get into Mazar. That snow will hit, the Taliban will dig in, and my men will come home. Your air support comes from B-52s at 35,000 feet. How do you think you're going to get close enough to be accurate without parking a bomb in your lap? I'll have to get out of the way, sir. <laughs> the extra three weeks is cushion for your fuck-ups. There won't be any fuck-ups. Three weeks is all we need. Pretty confident for a guy who's never done this before. Never been to war. Well, I don't see that as a disadvantage, sir. Well, maybe you should explain that. We're teaming up with a warlord that we know nothing about. We're not going to be able to tell our enemies from our allies. Every step we take is going to be on a minefield from a hundred different wars. No one's ever called in a smart bomb airstrike from a B-52, so anyone who tells me 
have done this before has experience of this is lying, sir. There's no playbook here. We have to write it ourselves. I briefed five potential captains for this mission. About a hundred years of military experience between them. But you're the only one that sees it the way it is. I choose you. You and 11 men. Task Force Dagger. I would be remiss if I did not say to you, even in success, the odds of you coming home. They're 100%, sir. With all due respect. So I kind of made a promise to. You know better than that, Nelson. What'd she get you to? Christmas. It's a hell of a thing we do, isn't it? How do you love your family and leave them to go to war? Your wheel's up to 2200. Dismissed them. No, no, knock that off. Go. The most important thing a man can take into account is the reason why. This is from the towers. You carry that with you. Five weeks ago, 19 men attacked our country. And 12 of you will be the first ones to fight back. Go win this thing. Thank you, sir. This we're in harm's way no matter what the weather. If your only goal is trying to keep us alive, we're dead men for sure. Yeah, I ain't losing one man on this team, Hal. The only way home is winning. Well, shit, I believe it. Come on, let's tell the boys we're up. <laughs> Towers full of that. Uh, you don't need to study falls, just shoot the guy shooting at you. Oh, is that how that works? Thank you very much, Mr. Wizard. Hey, look, Michaels, it's you. Jesus <laughs> Christ, you guys. Hold <laughs> that. Is that like a, like a cloth or something? Guys, it's too bad. Nice guys. Listen up. All right, boys. It's us. We're going in. Yeah, yeah. We beat out the five other teams. We're going to drop in behind enemy lines, link up with the warlord of the Northern Alliance, General Abdul Dostum assist him in fighting the Taliban and taking back the city of Mazari Sharif, which happens to be the stronghold and linchpin for the entire northern Taliban force. Now, if we don't take that city, the whole country will turn into a goddamn terrorist training camp. World Trade Center is just beginning. They're not finished with us yet. The catch is we only have 21 days. How many troops does he have? He's got about 200 paid soldiers and an undetermined number of part-time militia. What about the other side? The other side has about 50,000 Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters. Missiles, armor, rockets, mortars, machine guns. We're outnumbered. Just 5,001. What do I call it? Target rich environment. I kind of like those guys. Now, gentlemen, once we land, we're about nine hours away from help. It effectively means it doesn't exist. We're on our own. We all need to understand the capture is not an option here. And we've all seen the intel on what the Taliban does to the prisoners, correct? Exactly, sir. Those motherfuckers will make you suffer. Should go south. I'm dying with my boots on. Hey, bet. As am I. We go in tonight. Single ship, no backup. Some police your gear. Got some rest. Had a successful test flight. We are at the test flight. Come on. 
Open the freaking doors. What's the group you have to do? That's a good question. Well, it must be about 10,000 feet if you're using L2. Shit, the mountains are flying over at 10,000 feet. Sandstorms have ruined the engines. The missiles have been fired from the peaks. Well, that puts us at 20. You can't fly, you should have 20,000 feet. We're not gonna. Flight out takes 25. Oh. Well, how's this thing taken? We'll find out. Is there O2 for my team? We got masks in the back, but they don't work. Hell, ours don't work last flight. This tip shit's our seeing boogeyman. I was crashed in the damn mountains. Shit, we're gonna go like boxing. Not me. Keeping my eyes on that fucker right, right there. Behind you. We're going the clouds, gentlemen. No one's ever flown a chopper this high, this far. Strap in tight. Never been like boxing before. Really? Oh, that's great. How you doing, Spain? Think of it as a man out now. Got to go to sleep, though, where's me? Goddamn hangover on the other side. Yeah, baby. But well, you know why the army uses your nuts, right? What? So we'll be good and mad when we get in the battle. Let's 
Ja, da, 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 da. Tolliver. Mullah Rosa. 
leader of the Taliban has a high price on your hands. 100,000 US dollars for your body, 50,000 for your bloody uniforms. That's it? A little low. Toss a little change on Taliban. Well, look on the bright side. If his plan was to cash us in, he'd find another six horses for sure, I guarantee it. All right, who's ridden before, anyone? Summer camp, when I was nine. Cancun, spring break, but uh, I was pretty drunk. I can't write for shit. Okay, so ask nobody. Hey, this will be fun. All right, uh... Okay, so kick means go. This is the steering wheel. Left to go left, right to go right. Go back to stop. Yeah, he's not waiting for us. Saddle up. I'll start his supply chain, okay? Schedule a drop. Does it have a name? Uh, West ammo. No, the name, name. I know. Yeah. Does it have a name? The Michaels be on the radio. We'll check in every four hours. He's gonna test you. Yeah, gonna test him too. I'm not sure that's a good idea. We're about to find out. God damn it! Good luck, boys. You guys look like a bunch of naturals. Don't break the laws, dude. Hey, don't fucking look down. Or you 
keep up the horse goats. Move your head and shift your weight and shift the horse's weight. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. 
Donovan. Uh, Ed, here. Donovan. Now drop your bomb. He's not getting there. We're still too far away. Your bomb. How do I even know this is the Taliban? Who else would that be? There are a lot of armies in these mountains, General, and the U.S. is only a war with one of them. You call me a liar. I'm not saying I'm just saying that we're so far away, I can't even tell what we're shooting at, what we're hitting. Razan! Hey, General Dostumaz!
not going to negotiate. These are my boots. You know, the ones you stole from our draft. Thomas, Mas Bonish. Mas Bonish? I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Bet you we haven't even found half our shit. Oh, yeah, that roof looks familiar, doesn't it? Hey, how much, huh? What is that? 10? 9.50? Huh? Ten percent of our MREs, a quarter of our blankets. This is a lot. What? See, like your kip suits. Try a sheet. Shopping Macy's. Hey, Bill Smith. See them two there? Yeah. I can't even take a piss without to get up in my business. Oh, that's pretty fascinating. No, not really. It's not. Yeah. No. Follow me around like a little straight dog, bro. Why don't you stop giving him treats? Bro, that's the thing. I don't give him shit. Right? He just follows me around smiling with his little plank tank, huh? You don't get it, do you? What's this? These guys guard us. Any one of us gets killed, Dawson might execute the man he thinks is responsible in his whole family. This poor boy got you. So be nice. Be nice. You, uh... Hey, uh, the chief. Hey, bro, I, uh... Got your little... This little sucker. Put him out. No, 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 you take the thing off, and then you, and then you put him out. Yeah, put him out. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't even fucking go there, bro. Don't go there, bro. You must shoot. Thank you. Shut up. Thank you. This is their next objective. Confession. There's only one way in, and the Taliban know it. We dug in hard, just outside of town, right here, heavily fortified. The whole fucking thing's a bus saw. Yeah, then why the hell is Nelson walking into it? Shit. Did I pick the wrong guy? Sir, this one's not on Nelson. It's geography. Confession is the only way to Mosul. Maybe so, but we can't pin all our hopes on Nelson. Let's get a second team in the works. If Dostum doesn't make it to Beshem by the time the weather sets in, it's gonna be a real shit show. General, B-52 is in possession. You have any idea what's going on? Dostum need to find out if his nephew's still over there fighting along with Taliban. Then he switched sides. But necessity loyalty change. Some every other week. Why the hell would they do that? A lot of these guys are farmers. The Taliban comes through, they torture her to force them to fight what choice they have. Is it just me or does it feel like these assholes are counting their money every time they look at us? Okay. Makes sense. Look, 
899 new grid. 8342 break. 6649. <laughs> Guarding me and start trusting me. Greatest weapon in 
history is in this. I don't have soldiers in my army, not one, only warriors. Stop being a soldier. Start using this, and you can be a warrior too. Stand up straight. 
You can keep that toy. <laughs> well, the best thing about calling in airstrikes, do it laying down, right? Right. Let's get this war started. Jesus, we didn't get home. Again, bro. Walk out. 
Well, now we're good for more. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, uh, if I continue to follow you, I'm probably not going to live very long. <laughs> That's some ballsy shit you did back there. Well, sometimes you have to lead your men back into the right direction. What's my game? Fish, tell us. Fish. Fire. Tush. Rocks. You know, when I rolled over Bashan, women wore no bells. Girls went to school. We had movies at the theater. <laughs> but here, Razan killed my father. Friend of us taking it back, but now that I'm here, I don't want to walk in. Too much pain. I hope you never know it. Ah, oh, Cap. Yeah. You got a message through security face of Bowers. It's from Sectev. Plan to hit ain't a good one. off your ass and get to Mazar. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? Write this back to him. Sir, let me explain the reality on the ground. Right. Okay. I'm advising a man how to employ horse-mounted cavalry against T-72 tanks, mortars, machine guns. A tactic I think became outdated with the invention of the Gatling gun. They've attacked with 10 rounds of AK-47 ammunition per man. Lisa, get in here. With snipers having less than 100 rounds, with little water, and less food. Water's too well written. I know it can't be hell. We witnessed the horse cavalry bounding from spur to spur to attack Taliban strong points the last several kilometers under mortar, artillery, and cyber fire. That's my itch. Everywhere I go to the civilian and local soldiers are always willing to tell me that their land, the USA, has come. And they speak of their hopes for a better Afghanistan once the Taliban are gone. Finally, 
starving to death. Salam alaikum. Habib. Huh? Tell him that I want to buy one of the sheep. I want to buy one of the sheep. He says they're not for sale. Everything's for sale. Okay, tell him that we'll give him 50 American dollars. Ma pinja dollar, there ya kusfan me. Me khay, dona ib ansan. Mazak me koni. Says he will take 500 dollars. For that? How much are they worth? 100. Okay. Huh? 300 American dollars. Yes? Good? This guy should be a fucking military contractor. Alright, great. We have jobs. So what are you going to get for you? Oh, what the fuck? This is a great thing, my friend. The Taliban pulled back to protect the gap. But we can move forward to here in the morning. If we do tomorrow right, we can run them all the way to Mazar. It's worse when we're lost tomorrow. In general, I uh, want to explain where the other missions are taking place tomorrow. There's another team like mine, and they've been placed with General Adam Mohammed. They're moving on Mazar from the southeast. They have no time. From the U.S. point of view, you're all the Northern Alliance. Who is the U.S. to tell me what Northern Alliance is? If I tell move to Mazar, should be first. dropping bombs. We can go to war with that over the north. The mission hasn't changed, General. We're going to punch through this gap in. The Sankey gap is over two kilometers long. Redson's best weapons are right here. Machine guns, mortars, heavy armors. And right here is 055 Brigade. Foreign fighters, Al-Qaeda, they won't give an inch. They prefer death. I won't let my men die, so I thought can go to Mazar Paris. This isn't just your war. There are thousands of people dead in your country and mine. Now let me show you how this is possible, all right? We've already lured them into this gap. I'm gonna put a man on each flank, and we're gonna overwhelm this canyon with air support. Or he set Diller down range, he's gonna cut off a full frontal assault. But Azza cannot get to Mazar first. I'm taking my men through there, General, with or without you. Not me and my men, you are just an army of twelve. You all will die. Good luck. You're unbelievable. You showed me the town where your family died. Show me every hell Razan and his army unleashed on this place. And all you care about is some turf war? You lectured me about the heart of a warrior. You're no warrior, you're just another warlord. Right, uh, go ahead. They know since quitting general, it's you. That's not a happy face. I don't think Dosum's on board. What do you mean, not on board? So she's not gonna fight a battle that opens a way for his rival to take the city. Well, that's not a very big picture, either. Well, he's fighting more than one war here. I gotta like it, but these are the cards of Adela. Yeah, well, Cap, you, you gotta talk to him. I did. He's gone. He's taken most of his men, most of the militia, and they left. Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. The chances are we are not gonna make it out of this one. God damn, we're this close. We're so close to white men, Al-Qaeda out of Afghanistan. We'll never get another chance like this. But if we quit now, then what happened back home is gonna happen again and again. Each you got make this decision. But I'm in. We're ready for anything. With or without. Well, fuck them. I'm already here, right? All right. We go in the morning. You take what's left of the guards with you. You get some rest tonight. Tomorrow's gonna decide it one way or another. Spencer, Black, you call in airstrikes from the Houston flank. Milo, Jackson, and Essex have been pushed out against the enemy's western flank right here. Diller, Coffers, and Bennett will cover the enemy's northern flank in an attempt to block reinforcements from the Tsar. Pauls and Michaels cover Jones and me from the sniper position on the southern flank. Here we go, down the rabbit hole. Hi, Vern. Yeah. Who wins in a fight? Queen Elizabeth or 
murder Thatcher. Jesus, Falls, where'd you come up with this shit? From the depths of my brilliant mind. Falls, the scout just picked us up. About two o'clock, over. Target. Got him. 650 yards. Hold to left. Good hit. Delta, over. Request medevac on standby, over. Roger. How we looking, Jay? Yeah, we're in the right spot. Fuck, there's gotta be at least 15,000 down there. Spencer, this is Alpha. For a position, start lazing targets of opportunity. Biggest guns first, over. Hey, we're Biggest Gun, Cap. Diller, welcome back, man. How's your trip? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm looking at timeshares over here for the summer. Alright, let's do this, boys. Heads down, stay safe. Alright, good to go. Hey, yo, Jack. Zero five five brigade. I'm Kata. Gotta lead him a bit more, bro. Right. Gotcha. Viper four seven, this is Bravo five nine five. Laser target designator three eight dot six five. Target. Tanks in the open. Zero, zero meters south, over. Viper, 47, new target. Multiple troops in the open. 500 meters east. situation here. Multiple enemy combatants attempting to surrender at our position. Roger, Bravo. Give me a set rep when they're contained. Over. Flash 2-1. This is 595 Charlie. <laughs> Search each one of you guys. One by one. 
Not authorized, so close to you. That's 
Stiller. Moving to our position. Burden coming in two minutes. Copy. Rendezvous with evac site and pop smoke. city. 
I will raise your flag. Your city, General, will raise your own flag. Yeah. It's been with me forever. No, it's yours. Thank you. Whatever. Beautiful, Maddie. 